In the last episode, I talked about um, ensemble and improvisation, and I put that in, um, into pillar number three, which we've called going beyond yourself. We can also put outer atmosphere and inner feelings. So there are two big, in fact, there are almost two big archetypes, outer, out, and in like expansion and contraction, the outside world and the subjective inside world, outer atmospheres and inner feelings. So we could say atmosphere is really the number two, <laughs> listen very carefully, the number two of number three. Does that make sense? It means we have an atmosphere inside us as a feeling or a mood, but that's in number two, that's subjective. There's a, there's a feeling, um, an atmosphere <laughs> in number three. It's exactly the same thing. It's the number two in number three, or the number two subjective inner feelings within yourself. Let's start with Atmosphere is very difficult to create atmospheres because you cannot act them. You can't feel scared or happy or excited and thinking that's going to create an atmosphere. A good, a good example would be um, going into a church, for example, which the atmosphere is possibly not, but often it is, particularly the old Gothic cathedrals. The atmosphere is in the church. You sense it as soon as you step in, around you, in number three. It almost touches you. You can hear it as well. If a group of unruly teenagers come in, part of their class in high school, and they're bubbling, they're excited, they're quite outside themselves, but immediately they will be influenced by the, by the atmosphere of the church. Or the church atmosphere will lessen and be taken over by their bubbly, um, loud, possibly disrespectful um, number twos. So there's always a battle between your subjective experience and the objective atmosphere and that's really interesting for directors to work with I think um, in a scene. So what do you have to do? Atmosphere is all about sensation and I've developed a technique whereby you can use all of the senses but the main word to create atmospheres is sense or the senses, whereas for individual feelings, subjective feelings, the word is sensation. Chekhov has a really brilliant, easy exercise to create emotions or, or feelings. And that is to lift a part of a limb, or any part of you, but the arm is quite good. And here is the phrase, I lift my arm, with a sensation of, and now you wait for that sensation, that feeling to drop in. You know beforehand what that sensation is. Maybe you want to create a feeling within you, a movement, a sensation within you of a particular feeling. Let's say it is, um, suspicion. You're playing a scene where this inner feeling um, of the character, they become suspicious. So what is it? You do a movement and that movement simply is to lift a limb. In this sense, in this case, it is an arm. I lift my arm with the sensation of This 
suspicion. Do you notice how you have to wait for the drop in? This is the pillar of going beyond yourself. I lift my arm with the sensation of dot, 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 dot. And that feeling in the case I just did of suspicion will drop in. So the pillar which is called going beyond yourself includes improvisation because you have to wait for something to drop in, particularly improvising, that you don't rush or overthink or plan it. There's no strategy, there's no plan, there's no thinking out beforehand what you're going to do. And what does that develop? This inner sense of the dynamic, the inner dynamic of a scene, or a real sense also of the character coming to you with all of their backstory as well, with atmospheres and inner feelings, outer atmosphere through senses. For example, you can just use the eye, the sense of sight, and then you simply look out into the world and you see things, but you don't give them a concept. For example, if there's an aeroplane, you hear it, but don't give it the concept that noise I'm hearing with my ears, with the sense of hearing, is an aeroplane or a motor car. Just listen to the pure sound. Go through all the senses. Taste something. Don't taste anything particularly. The organ of taste is the tongue. The organ of hearing is the ear. The organ of seeing is the eye. The organ of touch is the skin all over you. It's the only sense of the five senses, and there are many more, which is not connected to the head. All the other senses, you've got holes in your head particularly these two holes here, the sense of smell. So sense, a smell, but don't say, oh, that's, uh, that's cheese, really French cheese, <laughs> smelly French cheese, or, mmm, I'm smelling rose, oh, how lovely. Actors can do that, of course, through the senses. But now don't give it a concept. Once you've done that, the next step is very interesting and in a way one has to do a workshop. You step out into the organ of the eye, but not just your organ, say, of taste, the tongue. I step out onto the organ of the tongue of the world. I step onto the tongue of the world. What you've done now, you've come out into number three. It's not your tongue inside you in experiencing it in your number two, but you're coming out into number three onto the tongue of the world. And I can assure you, number three will actually begin to move differently all around you. And then once you've got that, you introduce into it the, the desired atmosphere that you want. You must know what that atmosphere is that has to be created. Particularly the director must know that. And the ensemble creates it, not by acting and feeling it, but by going through this um, process of the senses and then stepping out into that particular sense of the world the world's eye, the world's ear. And it'll come out into number three immediately. And once you've come out into number three, you introduce the desired atmosphere that wants to be created. The inner feeling may be very different from that atmosphere outside you. For example, if you go into a church and it's this sort of rather respectful, devoted, holy atmosphere, 
But an atheist will come in who doesn't believe in any of this nonsense at all and will be very cynical. But the atmosphere is still there and that individual feeling, that subjective individual feeling will still be there and it will not affect the outer atmosphere. So, pillar number three. There's many aspects involved in that as well, but those two main ones, improvisation ensemble, outer atmospheres and inner feelings. Hold up, that pillar holds up the whole dome, the whole roof, the whole ceiling of imaginative, artistic, Thank you.